Welcome to this recording of uh, the results for period three. I decided to try this through screenshots instead of trying to collect the data into a spreadsheet. So just some inf important information to start with. The finish date for this period uh, is showing up in the baseline as February 20th, 2018. And baseline budget suggests without any managerial costs or any other action, you'd have about $240,000 left. So looking at those two criteria, uh, right now we've got uh, Gautam, Jacob, and Christy that finished first, and they're what? Uh, they finished on 12, 212, about eight days early. And just to get a good sense on what that range is, the folks in, at the end uh, finished up April 6th, about a month and a half late. They're catching up. I know that team had some struggles. Just worth taking a look at uh, halfway between that and at the 53 percent tile is Nick, Heim, and Derek, and they're running about three weeks late right now. So in terms of time, you know, some teams need to catch up. Some teams need to, uh, are, are, no one's super far ahead, which is good, not bad. Um, and then looking down the line here, looking at Michael, Stephen, and Edward, they finished on the 14th a little early. Uh, but ah, there's some indicator there that you didn't quite achieve your milestones. I don't, I don't judge on that or go through that at all. So I wouldn't worry too much about it. But just paging through everyone's page here, this is Michael, Stephen, and Edward, the team that's listed third. Justin, Alfredo, Rebecca. There's their data. You can see some of the team composition and team efficiency data uh, that you're seeing there as well. Um, they're finishing up uh, March 27th, so that's that's not necessarily good for them uh, in terms of time. Uh, Ryan, Craig, and Adonaya finishing up uh, on March 16th. Also a little bit behind schedule, but again, I think workable. And then Nick, Heim, and Derek, I think we saw that earlier. You guys were sitting out, what, uh, two weeks late? A little over two weeks late on March 9th. Um, so that's in terms of time, in terms of cost. Our team in first, or our 100% team, is actually what? Uh, Justin, Alfredo, and Rebecca. And you can see they've been scored the hot, the best in terms of, of keeping their error on their uh, expenditures to a minimum. Um, at 217, 879, I think you're okay. In terms of budget, the budget suggests if you spent no extra money at this point, you'd be at about $240,000. Michael, Stephen, and Edward, although you're not in first in terms of cost, clearly you have found a way to achieve savings while still doing some activities since you have a $250,000 remaining budget. So looking through the budget, so our top budget team is Justin, Alfredo, and Rebecca. And then in second would be Ryan... Craig and Ananaya with uh, $213,000 left again. I'm, I'm wondering whether you'll have enough money left at the end of the project. That's my only concern, that you've, you've kind of blown through $35,000 of your $47,000 of management reserves. Um, but it's still possible that you'll be, you'll be in good shape. I just, I'm just a little concerned. Uh, Michael, Stephen, and Edward. Again, you guys are uh, rocking it on the budget, and maybe your team is suffering a little bit in some other areas because you're you're finding ways to find some savings, which is okay, which is quite okay. And then just paging down along the line here, we have Gautam, Jacob, and Christy um, with 81% in terms of cost. Again, 208. Now we're starting to get into that red zone. Um, I'm a little concerned whether you'll You'll, you'll have enough money left at the end of the project. The good news is that we'll let the project end. Uh, you'll just spend more money and get admonished at the end for it. And last but not least, our, our team trailing up the rear, Travis, Andrew, and Pratt, still have uh, a way to go um, until they're back on track, I think. Uh, and, and again, they will probably have to make the decision as to whether it's budget or time they want to achieve. And I think they're trying to shoot with... Uh, with time at this point and, and to hell with budget, but they'll be the ones that will need to speak uh, for that. So that's uh, my overview for this week. Uh, we'll do something more thorough when we meet together as a class next uh, Wednesday evening. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.